What's up everyone, I'm Carl Johnson and in this quick tip video I'm going to show you how to turn off hyphens in Squarespace. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to design and come down to the custom CSS. Now this is just a standard piece of CSS that we're going to put into Squarespace um, to turn off hyphens. I'll leave it in the comments below so you can just copy and paste it to make it easier. But basically we're going to go with P, comma, H1, comma, H2, comma, H3. And then we're going to put a squiggly bracket in. So Squarespace has already put the second squiggly bracket in. So if we press return, just to give ourselves a little bit of space so we can see what we're doing. And then we're going to put dash, M-O-Z, dash, hyphens, colon, none, semicolon. So if we just go from this second dash to the semicolon, just copy that because we're going to reuse it on the next couple of lines. So if we come down another line, and then we want to go with dash ms, and then we'll just paste the dash hyphens none that we copied from the line above. And then we're going to come down again. And then we're going to go dash webkit and then the same again paste hyphens none again and then the final one is just hyphens colon none so you might think well okay hyphens aren't really a problem on desktop so i just want to turn them off on a mobile so basically what we need to do then is just wrap this in a media query so we'll save what we've done. If we come back to style editor and we want to look for when it loads up, we want to look for mobile breakpoint. So there we go, mobile breakpoint 640px. So if we take a note of that and go back to CSS, custom CSS, and now we just want to knock that down the line. And at the top, we're going to put at, and then we're going to put media space only screen, and and then we want to put brackets. Squarespace has automatically put the second bracket in, and in this one, we want to put max dash width colon. And then 640px. And then we need to put a squiggly bracket in. As Squarespace has once again put the second squiggly bracket in. We need to remove that one. And come down to this line at the bottom. And put the second squiggly bracket in there. And that will turn off hyphens just on a mobile. So there we go. It's as easy as that. If you'd like to see more Squarespace tutorials in the future, please do subscribe and I hope I'll see you in the next video.